Hi friends, it's teacher Candice in my office and I'm at your school and it is so empty because you are all home with your families and we miss you very much. I miss you very much. Um, but I thought that since I don't get to be with you this week and I don't get to do our lesson, I'm going to do our lesson with you. Um, and so you get to show your parents what we've been learning. So they might, you might have to help them catch up. They may not know what some of the words are that we're, we've been learning. Um, but I'm going to go, go, I'm going to read you. I'm going to continue our, our lessons that we've been doing. And I, I've been going into your class every week. This is actually the 25th week that I've come into your class that we've been sharing um, and talking all about feelings. Let's see, what things have we learned? We've learned about feelings. We've learned about strong feelings. We've learned about, here, let's do some recap so we can show your parents, okay? So we've been learning about different feelings. Oh, it's upside, it's uh, backwards, but we learned about, what are what is this? That's right, happy. What is this? Sad, surprised, scared, what's that? Angry or mad, worried, frustrated, disappointed, calm, and excited. We've learned about all of these and, and more. We've talked about other ones. And so we haven't just talked about them, but we've been learning about what, how we can recognize the clues in other people and how they feel, right? And then we've learned about ways to calm down when we have strong feelings. We've learned about how we can put our hand on our belly and tell our body to stop, calm down body, and then name the feeling. I am feeling frustrated right now. And then taking some deep, belly breaths and how these are some steps to help us calm down there are other steps too but these are the ones we've been talking about and that we've been working on as a class and so now and last week we talked about I'm just gonna go to just last week's picture last week we we talked about actually I only showed you one picture at a time I don't know if you're in that um, last week we talked about how these two friends are having a problem and I asked you how can we tell that they're having a problem and you told me about the faces their body language and we talked about naming the problem and a few of you said looks like maybe they both want to be a firefighter and one of them has the boots already and one of them has the helmet already and so they're both they're both fighting over that firefighter outfit. And so we've talked about how to recognize the feeling, how to recognize the situation that it's called a problem. We talked about naming the problem. They both want it. And then we talked about how to, how to calm down, right? So that first we, I asked you, do they need to calm down? And you guys said, yes. So if they need to calm down, they need to do the steps, hand on the belly, stop body, deep breaths. Whew. Once you're calm, because you can't solve any problems when you're not, when you, when you aren't calm, right? So once you're calm, are they calm now? Once you're calm, they can discuss some possible solutions to their problem. And remember we talked about the word solutions. Solutions are ideas to help us solve our problems. So they're talking about solutions and we don't know what they're gonna, what solution they're gonna come up with. When I, when I did this story with you, you guys gave some solutions for them. You said maybe they could take turns. You said maybe they could both be firefighters and sometimes they wear the jacket and sometimes they don't. And you guys came up with other solutions so maybe you could share the other solutions with your parent right now. So that's the one we did yes, last week. And so I just wanted to remind you. And so now I'm gonna do a new one, or do this week's. So that way we don't miss a lesson even though you guys are at home. And I hope that you'll watch this with your parents and tell them all about what we've been learning, okay? So, I think that Tina is going to join us and tell us something. <sighs> Teacher, can you help me? Oh, yes, I can help you, Tina. What's going on? Well, we were 
playing at the water table and um, Toby got me all wet. And I hate the feeling of feeling wet. My dress is all wet and I'm uncomfortable and I didn't like it and now I'm mad. Ooh. So what did you do? I remembered about calming down first because I was having a strong feeling. So I put my hand on my belly. <sighs> Told myself to calm down. Took a deep breath. <sighs> Did that help, Tina? Yes. Yes, it helped. Um, so now what? So calming down, you calm down because calming down helps us get ready to solve a problem, right? Is that right? Yeah. So what's the problem, Tina? The problem is my shirt is wet and I don't like it and it's so uncomfortable and I just need a solution. Ooh. Okay. So, so there, th let's think about some safe solutions, friends, for Tina. Do you have any safe solutions for her? Let's listen to, to our friends at home. They're, they're thinking about safe solutions for you. Because I think that maybe splashing your friend back wouldn't be a safe solution. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. But I did feel like doing that before I calmed down. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay to tell me that. Yeah, that, that's a real real response to that. Okay, so let's see. Well, you already, you came and told me that's one solution, but what should we do? The, the problem is, what's the problem again? My, my shirt is wet. Okay, so what could, what could Tina do about this problem? She came and told me that's one solution. Any other solutions that we have? I want to tell Toby that I didn't like it. Oh, well, then let's do that first before we figure out the outfit. Let's go talk to Toby. What do you think we should tell him? Um, I'm going to tell him that uh, I didn't like what happened. And um, what else? Well, I can help you. How about that? Let's go over to Toby and see Toby. Toby, can you come talk to us for a second? Hi, friends. Toby, um, you got me all wet and when you splashed the water I got wet and I didn't like the feeling of getting wet so yeah oh I'm so sorry I didn't know you didn't like that some friends at preschool love it when I splash them and didn't know that you didn't so I'm sorry that I splashed you do you need anything from me um well uh, yeah, could you help me find my extra clothes in my cubby? Yes, but I can't help you put it on. Teacher will have to help you do that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's so kind of you, Toby, to help your friend. All right, so I think they're, you're, you guys are going to go off and find your shirt? Yep. All right, thanks, guys. <clears throat> Did you see how Tina asked Toby in a really respectful way? She didn't say, help me get a jacket. Or, I mean, help me change my clothes. Or, you splashed me, right? Because she had already calmed down. So she came to me first. She calmed. Then she went and I helped her go talk to Toby. So she was already calm and she was looking for solutions um, to solve her problem. So I'm going to show you another picture. This friend's name is Zach. And this friend's name is Gina. Zach and Gina are painting at the table. Before Zach starts his painting, he turns to look at something behind him. And Gina starts painting on his paper. Zach turns back and sees what Gina has done. Zach is angry and he feels like painting on Gina's picture. Does he need to calm down? Does he need to calm down, everybody? Yeah. So what steps can he take? Do you want to see the poster before he takes those? Let's see. This, these are the steps he can take, yes? So he should choose one of these things or all three of these things and he should calm his body down, yeah. So let's see, he's gonna calm down. So he, he, he should calm down before he talks to her even though so then once he's calm, he, he can think about the problem. Think in your mind what the problem is. 
think, think in your mind what the problem is. And Zach remembers. What, what do you think the problem is? Tell me out loud. Tell your parent. Tell your grown-up out loud what the problem is. Oh, the problem is there's paint on his paper now, right? So he remembers that if someone is mean or disrespectful, he should say what he needs in a strong, respectful voice. Oh, I keep cutting her. He needs to say it in a strong, respectful way. Now pretend that you are Zach for a minute. What could you say to Gina in a strong, respectful way? You could say, stop, please don't draw on my paper. Or you could say, I don't want you to paint on my paper, right? Strong and respectful, right? Using words, using your words like that in a strong and respectful way is a safe way to solve your problems, is one way. We talked about lots of ways we can solve problems. This is one way, is using your words, your assertive words. That means strong and respectful. It also helps everyone in our class get along when we're using our strong, respectful, assertive words. And you know, in all of my classes, when I do these lessons with you, I give you scenarios for you to think about at home. And now since you're home with your grown-up, you can ask your grown-up some things that you can do. So think about Actually, maybe you can come up with scenarios to talk to your parent about because you're so good at that. Oftentimes when I'm in these lessons, I don't even have to give you scenarios anymore, right? Scenarios are pretend moments, either moments that you have been through before and you want to tell the class or scenarios are pretend moments. Like I could say, let's pretend that Juliana in our class and Daniel in our class are... Um, uh, doing this, right? Let's pretend that Juliana was sitting here or and Daniel was sitting here painting and one of them painted on each other's paper. What could you say? What could you do? Let's Now that you're home, maybe you're home a lot with your brother and your sister and you guys are having a hard time getting along sometimes. Or maybe with your parents. So what can you say in a respectful way? It's okay to feel, right? It's always okay to feel strong feelings like angry and disappointed. It's always okay to do that, but we should always calm down first before we try to solve our problems, right? So remember how to calm down. There's lots of ways, but these are the ways we talk about a whole lot in our class, right? Put your hand on your belly, remind your body to stop, calm down, remind, name your feelings. I'm feeling frustrated right now, and then take some belly breaths. When And you can take all kinds of belly breaths, right? We've learned about so many, we've learned about which ones have we learned about? We learned like a flower opening. We've talked about right, um, waterfall breath. That's not right. Waterfall breath. Right? Rainbow breath. Lion breath. You can do all these breaths at home to help you calm down before you solve problems. Class, I'm going to go now. I miss you guys a lot and I hope that I will be doing this every week and I will post them for you. And I hope that you watch them with your grown-ups and that you can send me any questions and maybe we'll do more videos if you guys are really watching them and enjoying them. I know that Music Man Chano might be coming with a music video for you. All right. Miss you all. Bye.